It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, the newest Far Cry game is yet another subject of controversy, as always. Now, within the new Far Cry game, there's like an option to do like some sort of cockfights with various roosters. And obviously, of course, many people felt really divisive over that new feature. However, from what I've seen so far, it appears as though it's like a parody of Tekken and other kind of fighting games. And so naturally, I don't see much in regards to this whole entire mini game with the cockfighting. While people are certainly entitled to their own personal opinion about the cockfighting in the game, I feel as though, however, that is actually a sad piece of reality that many countries have to face, particularly the Latin American countries. Because although there has been efforts to make cockfighting illegal in those places, people to this very day still have cockfights with their roosters, among other things, and dogfights and whatever kind of maltreatment of animals. And so it's a sad reality that many countries have to face. And of course with Spain, they have bullfighting, which again is like another form of torture for the animal. And so I'm not necessarily surprised that they use this sort of aspect of the culture that they were portraying in the game as a feature that people could play as with the roosters and so on. However, what really gets to me is the fact that PETA actually wrote a statement against Ubisoft against this whole entire cockfighting aspect of the game. They said, Ubisoft, racist and specious, contrary to your defense of your cockfighting in Far Cry 6 minigame, Cruelty is not Latin American culture. Glorifying violence towards animals as entertainment must stop. Shame on you. Honestly, this is not the first time that PETA went out their animals in video games. I remember stories a while back about them freaking out over games like Pokemon because apparently that's also an example of real life animal abuse. Now, the thing about these cockfights within the game like uh, Far Cry 6 is that they're not necessarily real at all because they're literally pixels. You could just make the pixels inside of the computer and you can make them do whatever you want. And so, I'd rather have cockfights within a video game than cockfights in real life because at least in the video game, there's no real life roosters that are dying just because, of course, you know, people want to do these sort of cockfights in real life. And so I'd rather have a cockfight in a video game than a real life cockfight in real life. Now there's a website called PETA Kills Animals and it goes into like a lot of graphic details about the killing of the animals within the PETA organization. Now according to the data that they obtain, it turns out that 89.4% of animals underneath PETA's care have been killed in one year. Now in 2014, it was like 80%. Now for 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018, it appears as though that they're around like the 70, 60% market. The Virginia Department of Agriculture and Customer Service requires all animal shelters to report the amount of cats and dogs they take in each year. The record indicates how many cats and dogs were claimed by their owner, adopted out, transferred to other Virginia releasing agency, i.e. animal shelters and animal control, transferred to out-of-state releasing agencies, died of natural causes, euthanized, killed, and how many of the shelters held alive at the end of the calendar year. We added the dogs and cats euthanized and divided by the total number of dogs and cats taken in, including those held for only saturation surgery to determine the percentage of dogs and cats PETA killed in a given year. In 2019, Virginia modified its policy and estimate animals held for sterilization from the records. We obtained the records by filling public record requests under Virginia Sunshine Laws within the Department of Agriculture and Customer Service. The information for years 2004-2010 is also available on the VDACS website for public expression. In 2020, they received 
2,595 animals. They transfer 836 animals. They adopted 33 animals. And they killed at least 1,719 animals. That's 66.2% that they killed. In 2019, they received 2,421 animals. They transfer at least 807 animals. They adopted 29 animals. And of course, they killed at least 1,578 animals. That's 65.20% of animals that they killed. In 2018, they received 2,470 animals. They transfer 658 animals. And they also, of course, adopted at least 35 animals. And they killed at least 1,771 animals. That's 71.70% of animals that they killed. And it goes on. Not just that, but PETA has been caught literally kidnapping animals. From this report right here, it says, when Karate check a security camera, the video show a van with PETA on the side park in his driveway. Two women exit the van and walk towards his porch, took Maya and put her in the back of the van. The dogs were put down shortly after that. According to a PETA spokesman, the employee made a tragic mistake by euthanizing the pets without permission. PETA, the same organization that thinks that we need to use inclusive language towards animals because reasons. Quote, just because it became unacceptable to use racist, homophobic, or ableist language, phrases that trivialize cruelty to animals will vanish as more people begin to appreciate animals for who they are and start bringing home the bagels instead of the bacon. Stop using anti-animal language. Instead of kill two birds with one stone, say feed two birds with one scone. Instead of be the guinea pig, say be the test tube. Instead of beat a dead horse, say feed a fed horse. Bring home the bacon, bring home the bagels. Take the bull by the horn, take the flower by the thorns. Peter has a long history of manipulating language of killing off the animals that they supposedly save and stealing animals from pet owners because reasons. But yet for some strange reason, they're very outraged over the fact that there's like a cockfight within Far Cry 6, even though they themselves have killed their fair share of animals. And this is why a statement like theirs, I cannot take very seriously because honestly, if they want to actually prove some sort of change in the world, they should lead by example. Not by euthanizing almost all the animals that they supposedly try to save, but rather actually fight real battles against human rights and animal rights abuses. I actually do something against cockfighting. Not go after a video game just because it featured that sort of stuff. But anyway, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.